it requires a, a suspension of disbelief that borders on delusional. You cannot say it's safe. It is not safe. It's certainly undercapitalized, in my view, with regards to just how much money it would take to actually pull something like this off. And people fantasize about maybe we could make shortcuts. So people talk about um, wormholes and, and uh, things like that, or uh, various kinds of warp drive that may allow you to do faster than light travel. And the problem with all of those is that they're fantasy. If you think the probability that they're going to die fairly soon uh, exists, then it's not terribly ethical. The popular uh, depiction of space exploration does distort things a little bit. Um, it, it certainly uh, overemphasizes the human aspect, of course, uh, at least with regard to how, what we're going to do in the near future. And uh, on the plus side, it does allow us to dream. It's hugely important for us to dream about what's possible. We aren't just in the business of constructing the technology and the science needed to do uh, the mission. We tried, Bill, we tried. We need to change ourselves as well. It'll happen one day, um, for whatever reasons, positive ones, just because exploration is a wonderful thing to do, or maybe because we need to. I think it is possible. Ultimately, we will become a spacefaring species. One of the first things I did when I was old enough to travel on my own, I took a trip where I just hitchhiked around the Yucatan. And um, I would go into the jungles and I would be like, guys, I don't know if I'm ever going to come back. <laughs> I wanted to go out into the world and explore. There's something so, uh, what is that so human about the drive? She had a near-death experience, drug-related near-death experience. I think she was just being a teenager, but I think it completely turned her life around and, you know, was the spark for her, you know, adventurism and also the thing that dilutes her fear. She's not afraid. The day of the accident was August 18. I woke up maybe around 11. My parents and my little brother, they were uh, already out. Maybe around eight, uh, people started calling uh, our home. And then around 9.30, the door rang. All my aunts, my uncles lined up and they were too quiet. They just hugged me and they told me, we're sorry. So this is uh, when I knew that my father had passed away. We all sat down, quiet, we didn't say anything. So uh, I asked them, well, how is my mom? I call her and she, she doesn't answer the phone. Everybody started crying and they just told me uh, we lost all three. The first day I heard about the Mars One project, I remember clearly I was sitting in the lounge in my flat in Durban, putting on my shoes, about to go for a run. And my very good friend and housemate, Bethany, showed me the newspaper from the day. She slid it across to me and said, you should read this. And as I started reading, my heart was racing, my mouth was dry. I actually ran to the bathroom because I thought I was going to vomit. Uh, I knew that this was it. She came with me on the run after that, and we were talking about what we would miss most on Earth and we talked about the wind and the sun and the smell of the sea.
my mom is somebody that I've known all my life. So saying goodbye to her one fine day would be very tough. It's not something that I can actually imagine right now. Shraddha. I would have to make myself understand that all this is going to end soon. I mean, uh, by the time I do leave to Mars, I think I, I would have to keep telling myself that the day is coming near. So I'll, I'll just have to train myself, but it's not going to lessen the pain or, you know, make me feel better. About uh, a month ago, I graduated in medicine. My master thesis I wrote was about psychiatry and psychoanalysis. I think that, that humans have a very strong drive to, uh, to discover and to, to understand things that uh, they, they don't know, they uh, never experienced uh, in first person. We'll start to enjoy again the, the exploration, the discovery, and colonizing Mars, I think that will be just the first step to start colonizing new planets. An interesting thing about Mars one is that uh, we are not uh, war heroes or uh, um, MIT engineers or so on. We were, before applying, uh, most of us were common people. If a common person can go to Mars, why shouldn't everyone uh, be able to do something great.